Now, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken called his Chinese counterpart on Saturday. How often do you hear of that happening? And urged Beijing to use its influence to push for calm in West Asia. After the Israel-Hamas war, the State Department has said has given this statement. Blinken spoke with Foreign Affairs Minister Wang Yi before departing from Riyadh. The U.S. Secretary of State currently is on his West Asia crisis trip where the diplomat is attempting to shore up support for Israel among other Arab nations. After Saudi Arabia, Blinken is scheduled to visit Egypt on Sunday before returning to Washington. And there is speculation that Blinken may meet with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman as well. China's involvement in West Asia has reshaped the region's landscape. The country's non-interventionist approach in the Arab nations has resulted in growing ties with Beijing as a means of diversification. Hence, China's increasing involvement in West Asia is a significant factor in shaping the region's geopolitical landscape and has substantial implications for global politics. Now, apart from China's political success on the defense front, Chinese firms have successfully sold armed drones and light aircraft to the UAE. This has allowed Abu Dhabi to bypass concerns and roadblocks faced by faced within the US Congress, which has a powerful say in export of such equipment. Now, as China strengthens its economic ties in West Asia, it will seek to challenge the United States' predominance in the region. But given their reliance on U.S. military bases and weapons imports, Arab states are unlikely to fully annul their security relationship with the United States in the short term. Saturday's call with Wang Yi, which lasted about an hour, has made was made possible in part by the diplomatic outreach the Biden administration has done with Chinese leader Xi Jinping over the last few months. Said that the now this also included a trip Blinken took to Beijing in June that reopened lines of communication with China after months of tension. Diplomacy is the best path to achieve that goal. President Biden is.